Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evidence. In today's video, I am going to show you how to forward domains. Let's dive in. So basically, I have my website, which is professorevidence.com. But I also have another website, godevidencen.com. This is kind of my old website and this is hosted on WordPress. So whenever somebody types in evidencen.com, I want them to land on this website instead of this one, which is my old one. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change it so that whenever somebody types in this address, they end up right here. That's one thing I'm going to show you. So this right here is my podcast. As you can see, this is the address of my podcast. But whenever I want to tell somebody about my podcast, I do not want to have to say, go to digitalmarketingacademy.simplecast.fm. I want to tell them to go to dmapodcast.com. So if you type in dmapodcast.com right now, it gives you an error. It says like the website doesn't exist. But what I want is that whenever somebody types in dmapodcast.com, they will end up right here on this website. So there are two different ways to do this. In today's video, I'll show you how if somebody types this in, they will end up here. And if somebody types this in, they will end up right here. So let's begin with dmapodcast.com. So this website, dmapodcast.com, is hosted with Google Domains. So let's go over to Google Domains and let's forward this. If you go to Google Domains, as you can see, this right here says dmapodcast.com in Google Domains. If I click on it, and this comes up right here. And then if you come over to the right side, you see where it says website. And where it says website, you click on forward. Okay. So whenever somebody clicks on dmapodcast.com, I want them to land on this website. So I'm going to copy this URL, go to Google Domains, click on it, and control V. And I'm going to click on advanced options. From advanced options, you can make um, different decisions. For So for me, I'm just going to keep do temporary redirect. Actually, I'm going to do permanent redirect. And then I'm going to do forward path. And I'm going to do SSL on. You can read um, through these things and kind of choose what you want. But for me, these are my options, and I'm going to click forward. And this is what it looks like right here. So basically, whenever I type in, in DMA podcast, whenever I type in this address, dmapodcast.com, I am supposed to land on this website instead of this one. So before I, I forwarded it, Whenever I clicked on dmapodcast.com, whenever I typed it in, this will show up. But now, because of this forwarding, whenever I type this in, I'm supposed to end up on this site. So let's try it here. Let's refresh and see if that will work. It's a, it worked. Now, whenever I type in dmapodcast.com, it brings me to this website instead of the error message I had before. So that's one thing. The other thing I wanted to do is this website is hosted on WordPress and my WordPress site is hosted on host together. Okay. So if we come back to Google domains, as you can see, evidencen.com is hosted with Google domains. Okay, so if you click on evidenceend.com and then we go to website 
and click on forward. Whenever somebody clicks on evidence n.com. I want them to land here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back here and paste. By the way, I'm just letting you know up front, this is not going to work. I know this is what we did for the last forwarding, but because evidence n.com is hosted on a WordPress website with host together, forwarding it from Google domains is not going to work. And I'm going to show you. So if you copy and paste this website and click on advanced options, temporary redirect here, yeah. forward path, permanent redirect, assessor on, and click on forward. In theory, whenever we click on, whenever we go back to evidencen.com and click on it it's supposed to take us to this website but because evidencen.com is on host together on a wordpress website it's not going to work let me show you so if you go back to evidencen.com and refresh it as you can see we still should come back to this website So as you can see, um, it did not forward correctly, like forwarding it in Google domains didn't work. So the point is, if you have um, your domain registered with Google domain, but you also have your domain associated with a hosting website like GoDaddy or HostGator in this case, you have to do your forwarding from the hosting domain you have to do your forwarding from the wordpress hosting domain so um this right here is a wordpress website as you can see and it's hosted in host together so for me to do the forwarding from host together i have to go on my host together customer portal and then go under hosting and under hosting i have to click on domain as you can see right here I've already clicked on domain and when you click on domain you scroll down and come to redirect and then when you click on redirect you choose permanent or you can choose temporary it's up to you and in this case you can choose all public domains or you can choose evidence n.com in particular and this one I choose all public domains all public domains it's like if you had everything, but if you had more than one domain, but I only have evidence n.com, so it doesn't matter which one I choose. In this case, I'll just choose all public domains, and then I'm going to leave this empty, and I'm going to redirect it to. So basically, whenever somebody types in evidence n.com, I want them to go to this website. And I'm going to copy. And go to host together and I want them to be redirected to this here you can choose um, only redirect with www dot redirect with or without I do not redirect here I'll choose redirect with or without okay and I'm going to click add when you click on add you go back and then if you scroll down here, you'll see um, all domains, redirect URL, permanent. Um, here you can delete it if you want to undo. So now, since this is done, whenever we go to evidencen.com, instead of this showing up, this is supposed to show up. Because we have redirected evidencen.com to this website. Now let's refresh this see it's work so now let's click on evidence n.com again so whenever i type in evidence n.com it brings me to this website instead of what it had before so basically um if you have 
your domain registered with Google Domains. I want to forward it to a new URL. You have to do what I did with DMA podcast. You have to do what I did with DMA podcast dot com. But if you have um, if you have your domain registered with Google Domain, but you also have your domain being hosted by a hosting company like like Hostgator or GoDaddy, you have to forward your domain from inside the hosting company that is hosting your domain, not reg- not necessarily where you are registered. So if you go back here to evidenceend.com and stop forwarding you see that this will still work so if i type in evidence and dot com you see it still forwards and it still work it still works so dma podcast is registered with google domains and is hosted with google domains and but evidence and does come is registered with Google Domains, but it's been hosted in HostGator. So since DMA Podcast is being hosted in Google Domains, I will forward DMA Podcast.com from Google Domains. Evidence and come, although it's registered with Google Domains, is being hosted in HostGator because I was using it to host a web- WordPress website. So I forward evidenceend.com to the new website, to the new URL from HostGator, which is where it is being hosted. I hope this video helped you to learn how to forward your domains, you know, whether it's in WordPress or whether it's in Google Domains or how to just forward your domains from wherever it is being hosted. And you can always visit me online at professorevidence.com. And you can also join my free digital marketing membership site where I have like free tutorial videos, free marketing courses, free audio lessons, free PDF, all designed to teach you digital marketing for free. And you can get that by clicking the link in the description below or going to professorevidence.com slash free membership. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.